hello and welcome back to another nail video and i'm starting today's set with the nails prepped and the tips already applied and i'm going in with my 100 180 grit nail file to crispen up the shape of the tips and knock that rough edge off the free edge Next, I'm using my fine grit sanding band to blend the nail tip in with the natural nail as well as remove the shine from the nail tip. Today, I'll be doing an ombre using gel polish, so I apply a very thin layer of gel polish to the nail tip. And after two coats of the gel polish, I decided to go in with these gold nail decals and um, place them on the gel polish. I'm not gonna lie, I struggle with these decals, trying to get them to stay, trying to take them off of the sticker pad. Um, but I'm very, very pleased with the outcome. So I made it work. Next, I apply a thin layer of top coat over the gel polish before laying my acrylic. I'm using Mia Secret Clear Acrylic and Cover Nude. And I begin by placing my first bead of nude acrylic in the center where the tip and the natural nail meet. Then I feather that acrylic down. Next, I pick up another bead of acrylic. Um, I place this one 
towards the end of the last bead of acrylic I did want the um, ombre to blend down a little lower on the nail that's why I chose to add another bead um, right there at that point point. and again I'm just feathering that acrylic down and then I place my third bead of acrylic Right before where I placed my first, uh, I pat the back of the acrylic before I feather that acrylic down so that it has a seamless blend. And then I am taking my last bead of acrylic and I'm placing it towards the cuticle area. I am pushing that acrylic back and then I am blending that acrylic down. pick up a wet bead of clear acrylic and I place it where um, the nude acrylic and the gel polish meet and I gently drag that acrylic down and I'm trying to pat the acrylic in place so that it does keep the shape of the nail as you see here um, and then I just go ahead and clean up the tip of what well, the free edge of the nail And then I decided to add a little more clear acrylic um, towards the tip of the nail just because the nail was looking a little thin I do want it to have a little thickness to it just so that it does have a nice good structure. And so I decided to make this nail all nude um, acrylic. So I'm just picking up the beads of acrylic, placing them towards the tip, and then just making my way up the nail, picking up beads and blending it in with the acrylic that's previously been laid. Um, actually, laying acrylic is my favorite part of doing nails. I just think it's so satisfying to watch the acrylic kind of melt into each other. It's just really, really nice. Um, so yes, I will let you all enjoy as I lay the rest of this acrylic on this set of nails.
Next, I'm going in with my 8080 grit file to file and shape the nails. Um, I did a pretty good job laying the acrylic. It's not too bad, so I shouldn't have that much filing to do. Again, I'm just crisping up the shape and um, kind of debunking the nails a little, but not too much, and just getting that nice, clean, smooth surface. Um, and that's really going to bring and pull my ombre together. have been foul shaped and buffed I decided that I'm gonna do a marble nail on the nude nail and so I go in with my blooming gel and I apply a thin layer because the blooming gel is a little thick so I apply a thin layer of the lumen gel and then I go in with my gel polish um, and you'll see here in a second I go at a diagonal with the gel polish and then I just use a small brush to kind of twirl that polish together and it comes out with a very very nice marble look Next, I'm going in with a layer of top coat because I do want to add gold foils to this nail. And so the top coat is what the foils are going to stick to. the nails turned out at the last minute I decided to add some gold stones to the first finger and I absolutely love this look I think it's super super cute and yeah as always I thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next nail video